there with such authority. I am your designated hitman, and, and justifiably so. Well, Marte missed one out of two earlier, so he didn't want to take it at this point. Ordinarily, yeah. Saldana would have taken that for the uh, Magnolia Ice Cream Makers. Alolor is now being replaced by Carpio. A 3 to nothing blast by the Magnolia Ice Cream Makers have cut down that lead to only three, and they still have possession of the ball. They can wipe it out with a three-point shot or a three-point play in this offensive. Here is Joe Luzaga. He puts it up. Off Willie Pearson. Yes, yes, sir. Good backspin in that shot of his. Five to nothing blast, and they're just down by one. 86-85. Joey Lizaga's hand is still burning from last Tuesday. Joey Carpio, Joe Binion, spread eagle, asking for the ball. Now he's got himself isolated against Norman. Let's see if he's going to work this time. We've seen them countless times in this position. Really Pearson tried to come in for a backdoor play, but it blew up right in their faces. Dangerous pass given there. Pearson certainly is not playing the game that he played in the uh, fifth game. No? Nope, he's only a shot of himself from the yes. game five. Beautiful. The lead again, a seven to nothing blast gives Magnolia the lead by one right now. What's with this Magnolia ice cream makers? They keep coming back like a song. Yes, sir. 87 86. Here's Ricky Brown uh, going to Willie Pearson. Daddy Gonzalo is immediately on top of him. He puts it up on 20. Too strong. And the ball falls right to the hands of Joey Carpio. He always has that break coming to him. And here is Ricky Brown. He finally shook up Joey. 31 points now for 31, 32. 32, 32. points for Ricky Brown. And they go back to a one point lead. 88, 87 is exact tally. Time down to 9 minutes and 51 seconds. Only one team fall from Magnolia. An immaculate play for great days. Loizaga makes his bit inside. Oh, a heartbreaker for Joey. And Willie Pearson comes down with a defensive rebound. Uh, he's got himself jammed in a trap defense. Goes off the floor. Last touch by Gonzalo. Chito Loizaga. Everybody on the floor is panting. Joey against Ricky Brown. Ricky makes his way to the hole. Oh, Ricky with two consecutive baskets plus a chance for a three-point play against Loizaga. Ricky Brown with those penetrations seems to be making a mockery of the defense put up by Joey Loizaga. Fourth personal for Joey. And quickly, Rabanis is sent to the Suarez bench to give Loizaga a break. All right, Bimo Rabanis now will have his turn at Ricky Brown. Likewise, Abby King will have his chance at Norman Block. And uh, the other Loizaga leaves the floor also. That's right. So both Loisagas have just checked out. Uh, will be in the cooler for quite a while. Jason Miguel Bin, too, has just checked out for Noli Banate, who's been doing fine work off the boards. Noli Banate pulled down nine rebounds for Magnolia during his stint on the floor. We also see Jimmy Manasala in the ball game for Willie Pearson. Back to a four-point lead for the Coffee Men, looking for their third title in seven months. That was a graceful drive by Danny Gonzalo from the side, but the shot just won't fall, and Abby King was too powerful off the rebound, and here's Ricky Brown, finally downtown for the Orangemen of great taste. A good pick set up by Joe Binion. But Rabanis was, did fight that pick, huh? That's right. Oh, he crashed through that pick, regardless. Black, trying to thwart the shot by Binion in vain. 93-87, back to a six-point lead. Seven to nothing, blast by great taste this time, gives them back the six-point lead. This game is really being played in spurs. One moment, uh, Magnolia explodes with seven points, and in the next turn, Great Pace comes up with seven of his own, but, oh, that was a bad pass inside by Norman Black. Uh, Jimmy Manansala says, okay, we're not going to do a fast break this time. Do it carefully. Jump shot by Abby King. That's more like it, says he. Ooh, nine to nothing, blast by Great Pace suddenly gives them an eight-point lead, and Magnolia needs to regroup at this point. Eight and a half minutes in the ball game, 95-87. Marty Saldana. Now trying to act as the heart and soul of the Magnolia offense. Norman Black confronted by Abby King. Bibo Raban is trying to shake up Jimmy Maranzala. And we've got a foul. Give Abby. It, given up by Abby King. Time off. We'll be back. 10,000 volt electricity charging the atmosphere here at the Old Jazz. We near the climax of game number six. Great pace up by eight with eight minutes and 14 seconds to go, but Magnolia is on the attack and they're still in there. Coming on strong, Saldana goes up, smothered by Carpio, but there is a foul. Foul downstairs called against Joy Carpio, who came onto the weak side to help. Take two for Marty Saldana. Let's take a look at that again and see. Well, he may have caught Saldana coming down. And again, Marty Saldana misses his first free throw. What a heavy cross for this young man with a very lean frame to carry. Marty Saldana 
everybody has to realize that he's just off sick bay. That's right. Just a seven point lead, the Magnolia Ice Cream Makers after that timeout going to a man to man press. 95 88, exactly eight minutes left in the ball game. A beautiful swipe from behind by Marty Saldana. It did not work. And Jerry Carpio brings it closer to the hole, misses Joe Binion for the follow up. Makes it the counts. shot, plus a foul for Norman Black. 97 88. Great pace once again on the verge of a double digit advantage. There's a slight push given by Binion. That's what Black was looking for, the push by uh, Binion with his hips against uh, Norman in that play that gave him that offensive rebound. Binion looking for a three-point play. Three team fouls against Magnolia. Two for great taste. 7.51 remaining in what is still a cliffhanger of a game. Binion misses on a three-point play, but Jimmy Manazala keeps it alive. Oh, Joe Binion danced inside. It's a foul from Banate, I think. Banate. Yes. Noli Banate just collected his fourth personal. And Jimmy Manazala will inbound for the great taste coffee makers looking for the third title in less than a year. Would be a grand slam of sorts for them, although in not in the same season. Yes. Picks it up for Binion again, or from Binion, and Manazala breaks loose. Brown's favorite receiver, Manazala again, hit from his favorite spot. And it's an 11-point lead right now for Great Taste. Norman Black. Both of the referees signal the charging foul. De La Cruz and Cruz both called an offensive foul against Norman Black in that play. Norman Black is clearly tuckered out, but the adrenaline level in his veins is so high, it's driving him to those careless uh, movements. Well, he was trying to drive into the basket. Pass in play by Manasala, and it's a 13-point lead now for Great Taste. We're, we're threatening to break the game open. 101 to 88. The Great Taste coffee men smell blood, and they're going for the kill. Rabanis to Norman at low post. Here he works. The baseline drive against Abbe King. Gets a foul from Abbe, and it's going to take. It's going to be take two for Norman Black, who has uh, 32 points in this ball game right now. Well, it has been a heroic effort for Norman Black. Uh, in addition to his 32 points, uh, he's already pulled down 14 rebounds for Magnolia. In addition to being the rallying point and the inspiration of this Magnolia squad, 13 point handicap for them at least it's better than laboring under a 35 point handicap which is almost impossible to come back from right now there's still a lot of time seven minutes and four seconds norman must make these two free throws and he comes through with flying colors wow we've never seen him perform so well from the stripe as we're seeing him tonight yes i don't think he has missed from that area tonight. he hasn't not that i recall Look at it, 100% from that triple on. 101 to 90, great taste lead down to an odd 11 points. Exactly seven minutes left in this encounter. Game number six in the duel for the 1985 PBA Open Crown. B. What Ivan is briefly hustling on Ricky Brown. There is Binion against Norman Black. Good pass inside to Ricky Brown. Give and go oh. play. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's down on his back there as he rode PJ back on Dante Gonzalgo. <laughs> Picks himself up from the floor. Back to a 13 point lead for them. And Ricky Brown was wondering, uh, wasn't there a foul there? <laughs> Somewhere. <laughs> Here's Noli Banati. Back to Ali. Yes. And Jimmy Manazala comes down with a defensive rebound for great taste. Uh, who are burning the floor now like tigers on the loose, smelling blood. They want the, the shot, meat. It's not going to count because there was a foul by Banate before oh, Carpio oh, could oh, go up oh, for the shot. Saldana checks out. Uh, Rudy Distrito is in. They've got a 30-second injury timeout oh. declared by... And a simultaneously a regular timeout. We'll be right back.